Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. I don't remember the last time I started a vlog in my bathroom. Good morning. <laughs> I haven't vlogged all week, which I didn't really expect, but it just kind of happened that way. And I moved around my content schedule for the month of July. So this is just like a chatty, very, very chill days in my life vlog. And today's Sunday, so we'll be doing some Sunday things, but this isn't like a Sunday reset vlog. This isn't really productive. This is really just us like hanging out together, which is my favorite type of vlog these days. I feel like I'm just like so much in the summer mode of not not wanting to work, not wanting to really be productive <laughs> and just kind of enjoy my summer. I talked about this in my monthly Plant With Me video that I just finished editing last night, which will go up this morning. And since I was editing that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start a vlog. Cause I was like actually having a really good day yesterday. I was like put together. I was out in DC. I got brunch with my friend Jess. I've just been really, really loving vlogging during the weekend, but it didn't end up happening. So I'm starting the vlog now. And since I didn't vlog this week, I actually have a lot of things that I need to update you guys on. Then I straight up wrote them down in my journal because I was like, I don't want to forget. <laughs> I really want to make this like a very chill video, like not too much b-roll or anything i want this to be very chatty and us just like talking and hanging out so this will either be like today and tomorrow or today through tuesday i'm not exactly sure but probably today and tomorrow actually because i'm going to puerto rico on wednesday yeah i'm so freaking excited i feel like for once i'm actually so excited to go all i have to do is pack <laughs> so if you guys are looking for a chill summer vlog catching up with a friend then this is the perfect video for you i know that a lot of you guys that are subscribed to my channel live in the u.s let me know how the weather has been wherever you live because this whole entire week, maybe that's why I didn't feel that motivated with vlogging. It was so humid, so hot all week, like 90s, like high 90s. And that's just a little soon in the year for us to experience that in Washington, D.C. So this week was just like brutal. And yesterday it was so humid, but hopefully today it won't be too, too bad. We'll see. And I say that because I just don't want to forget ever to wear my sunscreen. I've been wearing this like it's literally a shield on my face. I've talked about this before, but this is the Round Lab Korean sunscreen. It's the best. It's better than the Beauty of Joseon. I feel like everyone talks about Beauty of Joseon, but this, this is so much better in my opinion. Okay, so one of the things that I have to update you guys on is in my apartment, I made a small apartment update. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is, but let's go to the coffee station. Okay, okay. Good morning, Mr. Sleepy Man. You're very sweet. Boop. As you guys know, my eucalyptus tree from the last apartment used to be right here. I sold it <laughs> and I sold my bar cart because I got this new olive tree. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. This is also like two feet taller than my last tree. The eucalyptus tree was around five feet. This is seven feet tall and it's a little bit taller with the planter stand. And then I got rid of the bar cart because the bar cart honestly was just like too much space. We didn't really use it for what it was and Thomas and I don't really drink alcohol at home. So sold the bar cart on Facebook Marketplace, both of them. And then I moved the side table that used to be next to the couch to this area. So now this is our Nespresso area. I felt like it was getting really hot, especially when the sun came out and everything. So I just think this looks so much better. And now this is fully open with all of these toys. So this is our new tree. Let me know what you think. I know some people don't like the fake olive tree look, but I just think that when it comes to like a tall indoor tree, I just can't imagine anything else. Like I think that this looks the best. So this is how it looks. I think it looks so good. And I think it just especially looks good. Like if you step back from the sunroom, it just, I think it looks so much better having like some greenery there. That's our apartment update. Thomas also made me a latte from his Breville. I have no idea how to make espresso, if I'm being quite honest. But I guess I don't really like care to know, at least just yet. So for now, if I have like a really good espresso or a latte or something, Thomas has to take it for me. This creamer is so good. Now that I've shown you the apartment updates, let me actually write, I had to write down like what I need to talk to you guys about because since I didn't vlog this week, I was like, okay, these are things, these are things, these are things. But I just couldn't remember. Oh wait, this is my Korean notebook. Yeah, you did. What did I have in here? I need to journal more. See, okay, well that's one of the things that I know I wanted to mention. This is my journal. As you guys know, I love this so much. It's just like a blank notebook. I love this. I made this with Ty Paley at the end of last year and I love it so much. I just need to like remember to use it more. And wait, I didn't write it here. Oh, I think I wrote it on my bullet journal. Also trying to use this actually more on a day-to-day -day basis, but... Oh yeah, okay, here. Updates for vlogs. So, 
my daily planner. I talked about this more in my monthly plan for me video, but my dilemma right now with my bullet journal is that I just feel like I don't use this a lot like during the week and I really have to like remind myself to use it during the week, which I'm like, what's the point? Mainly because there's spaces for each day. A lot of times, I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like I don't use my planner Monday through Friday or like Monday through Thursday because I'm just like in the motion of working my job and then giving myself a life outside of work. Like I'm not too productive after work unless I'm just like editing YouTube videos. So, and so I'm kind of in a pickle because I don't know what to do. But I love tracking my habits and my moods, which I do every couple days or maybe like a week later or something. But I don't really know what to do because I feel like sometimes it's like wasteful. I'm not using this like to the most that I could. Here, here's my habit and moods from last one. But if I find a daily undated planner, then it's not gonna have the habits and moods. So I'm like, should I just like make a planner myself? But I can track my habits and moods and make it like a daily setup and it's like undated or what. But that was something. I just don't really know what to do because I love coloring. Like you guys know how much I love the doodle planner from Amanda Rach Lee. It's just like one of my favorite things ever, but I just, I'm finding that like, I'm not really using it during the week and then I just use it Saturday and Sunday and I'm like, is that good? Is that really nice? Because one of the new things that I wanna show you guys throughout this video is like recent purchases or like things that I've bought recently. And this is one of them. Oh my God, it's so freaking pretty. I think I just also love, like I've always loved the office supplies and stationery and notebooks and stuff. And there's a lot of creators that I watch on YouTube that have their own planners. So I really try my best to support those creators like where I can, like if it's buying from their brand or if they have merch or something. So this is the Dreamer Journal. This is also a lined blank notebook. And this is by Hannah Ashton. If you guys don't watch her, I'm sure you guys know her. I feel like she's like huge, but oh my God, I love how the side looks. It's so pretty. She has her own brand called Dream Daily. And this is the Dreamer Journal. So it's still like a lined undated notebook, but in the beginning, it just has like a lot of prompts. And I just really like the way that it's laid out and I love like the color of the pages is that is that just me but it's overall just like such a nice journal it shows you like the beginning there's like benefits of journaling you there's like a daydreaming section and then there's like an affirmation section I just love that and then there's two whole pages of journal prompts which I also really love because a lot of times I like I want to journal but I'm just not I feel like I'm just not someone that's gonna write about my day per se but if I journal I like I feel like that's what I think of when it comes to journaling I'm like what am I doing? What am I thinking? Or like, whatever. So I like that there's journal prompts because like, for example, in what ways do I express myself? Like I would never think, but I do think it would be very beneficial if I did. Because journaling is all about like forming your thoughts and putting your thoughts to paper, which I think is very like helpful. So yeah, this is my dreamer journal. It's so pretty. And so I was in this whole dilemma with like my bullet journal and this dreamer journal. And like when I found Dream Daily in general, I was looking at her stuff and she has a daily planner, but I don't think there's like an area to track your habits and moods on like a monthly basis. So I was like, oh, I really want to get it. And I have so many things already. So I don't know, maybe I'll try to make that next year for JH Collective. I feel like designing a planner would take like six months to a year so definitely gonna be realistic and say that that can't be done right away but yeah that's where i'm at i just like i love coloring but then i'm like ugh, i color and then i just don't really use it that much anyways that's my dilemma with my journal and that's one of my new purchases i'll sprinkle the purchases throughout the day too but i have other things that i need to show you guys that i bought so i'm gonna spend some time journaling and putting my plans together and just kind of everything and we have brunch plans at 12 but i'm sure i'll talk to you guys before them because i'm feeling chatty <laughs> Thomas and I actually have brunch plans on the rooftop of Smoke and Mirrors in Navy Yard. Um, it's like a comped meal in exchange for a reel and some stories, which I'm just really grateful for because Smoke and Mirrors is a really good place in general. And for me personally, I kind of don't mind if it's not paid because especially in DC, like the food is so good. Like if I could make content in exchange for like a really good meal, I really don't mind. And we're still celebrating Thomas's birthday this weekend. So it was kind of perfect timing. But if there's no fans on that rooftop, it's gonna be really hard to enjoy my meal. So I'm wearing literally like a backless dress. This is an old dress from Set Active and it's backless, which is really good. And my hair is up in a claw clip just in case, but I'm literally gonna do no face makeup. I'm just doing brows and mascara because I feel like I'm gonna be sweating. I had such a good morning. I spent like an hour or maybe an hour and a half 
bath just like coloring my bullet journal like really kind of looking at everything i journaled in my dreamer journal which i really love the layout and like kind of like the instructions on how to use it because like i said if you're just kind of like stuck on what to journal about you don't really want to have it be like a diary but more so just like a culmination of your thoughts the dreamer journal is actually really good so today i just journaled a little bit about like my upcoming vacation and like what i want from it and i feel just very zen and good and i'm really excited to enjoy a good meal now i think also thomas and i are planning to go to costco today which is perfect timing because we can get some meal prep things costco has such good pre-made meal prep kits and i'm really excited because i feel like there's a lot that i haven't tried before so that's probably what we'll do after brunch and then we'll set up for the week and then in a case like this where i'm not really putting on any other makeup other than brows and mascara i'll just have like a really nice juicy lip gloss on so here's my brunch outfit brunch was so good but we both need coffees so bad so we're actually nearby at barracks row which is right on capitol hill and we're gonna walk around it's like so freaking humid this is like a main street and i've never been here before so yeah let's go okay and it's too hot we, we can't we can't okay the thing is all the coffee places are closed so we're gonna find somewhere else but it's really pretty if you're not out here Okay, I was telling Thomas that I was fighting for my life back there. I'm sure you guys understand. If you have like a big brunch, it's a battle for the rest of the day. Whoa, especially if you have drinks. We only had one, but you guys, that food was so good. And then I was like, I need coffee and we couldn't find any coffee like that main street. It was just too hot for us to walk around and humid. And then there was so much traffic on the way back from Navy Yard. I have found Navy Yard is like insufferable. <laughs> There's always traffic. It's so crowded. There's so many buildings. And I was just fighting for my life. So Thomas got a four or five, it's up there, but we got matcha and I already feel a lot better. I'm trying not to nap because I really want to sleep at like 9 p.m. tonight if I can because I didn't get very good sleep last night. But yeah, that was brunch. It was so good though. If you guys are looking for a good brunch, Smoke and Mirrors in Washington, D.C. and Navy Yard is so good. They just came up with a new brunch menu and a new dinner menu and I thought everything was really, really delicious, especially the fries. They were so yeah, I just wish it wasn't so humid because I can't, like, we can't even walk outside. It's so crazy. Okay, I just changed and put on some comfy clothes. Not that the dress isn't comfy, it's just so exposed in the back. I just didn't want to wear it. So I have comfy clothes on. Also, if you guys, I got a couple of questions about my shirt. I released these shirts last year. This is from my small business or like my merch brand, Jage Collective, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. So if you guys want a nice, like colorful t-shirt, definitely check it out. I've got a package. <laughs> okay, I can't try this right now. Maybe I should. Should I still try just one? Do you want to try one? I'll try one. Okay, you guys, you guys know I'm obsessed with Swedish candy, but I'm holding off because I have another order that I got like over a month ago that has been taking so freaking long. It's Poppin' Candy and that's like the most popular place, but it's taking so long. So it's currently in transit. I just have no idea when it's coming. I just got the notification that it was shipped out like a week ago. So I'm not gonna buy any more Swedish candy, but I saw this TikTok last night of this person saying that Smarties Squashies is very, very similar, at least from what she described. This does have gelatin, but Swedish candy is so good because there's no gelatin, at least for bubs. And it's just like so pillowy. So these are Smarties Squashies. I've never heard of them before. This is what they look like. They look like a little eraser. This is the raspberry and cream flavor. There's apparently like a bubblegum flavor too. Even though I'm literally like so full and I have a sugar crash, I'm still gonna try this. Mmm. It's pretty good. Here. It's not like a bub though. Nothing beats oh, bubs. But yeah, but this is really good. <laughs> uh, I just love gummy stuff. And this is like a. Oh, this is pretty close. Yeah, it's like a marshmallow -y gummy. Pretty close. Ooh, me like. They look like little erasers. Me too. <laughs> I really want to try the bubblegum flavor now. I got these on Amazon though, so I'll link these in the description box if you want to try them. It's 6 p.m. right now. I've 
not really been doing much today. I was on the couch and then I was coloring. I finished up coloring all the weeks of July. Got some packages and what, this is one of the things that I wanted to show you guys anyways. This is one of my like recent purchases that I'm really excited for. So as you guys know, I've been really good about my nail routine. This is currently the shade Cherry Jelly by Lights Lacquer. But I really want to try a new brand and I've just heard so many good things about Olive and June's actual polishes. I already used their nail strengthener but I just made a small order because they were doing a sale. Okay, so I got this nail polish remover pot. This is supposed to be a lot easier to take off your nail polish. You just like stick your finger in and like swivel it around. It's a lot easier than the cotton rounds. So I got that and then <laughs> these are all my polishes. I'm so excited. Personally, I don't think Essie polishes are good and I don't think that OPI, they just don't last very well on my nails from what I've found. And Lights Lacquer has been working really well on me. So I wanted to try another brand that I haven't tried before. And I really wanted some blues and like some holographic colors. So these are the ones I got. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So these are both quick dry polishes. They're supposed to be like both long lasting, but also very quick drying. Oh my gosh, do you see this holographic one? It's stunning. This is called Charming. I think this is my favorite one. And then this one is called Rink. It's like a light blue. It's like that kind of like blueberry milk color. So excited for these. And then I got two regular long lasting polishes. This white one is called Atlas. And then this like pinky nude one is called Sandy Scallop. If you guys can see, this is like the shimmer. They're supposed to be kind of like chrome effects, but hopefully just with one shimmer. I just love shimmers so much. I feel like they last the longest on your nails. And if they do chip, you like don't see it very well. I'm extra excited for this one. But this is like the star of the show for me, honestly. This is their Golden Effect top coat which paired apparently with sandy scallop gives you like a really good golden chrome finish and i'm so like i want to do this one first but i just did my nails like a couple days ago and usually i wait around like seven to nine days before i do a new manicure but maybe since i'm already going to puerto rico on wednesday that'll be like five days maybe i'll just keep these until wednesday do a fresh manicure for my trip using these two. Oh my god i just think they're so pretty and i'm really excited to try them so that's everything that i got from olive and june have you ever heard of Vlogging DC Sandwich and Fall Church? Really? Uh, I think that's where I'm gonna try to. Not sure, really. It looks legit. Okay, make sure it's very difficult. Or very expensive. Hey guys, happy Monday. I totally forgot to vlog my run this morning. But let me just recap. I ended up just kind of editing a little bit before I went to sleep last night. Thomas and I had like a really light dinner. We had like chicken meatballs and broccoli. And I went to sleep early and I woke up early and I got my morning run in because this afternoon or like after work, I actually start my Korean class tonight and something else. What else is tonight? I'm traveling this week. So I'm trying to move around my miles so that I can hopefully still get the same amount of mileage in while I'm away. But I'm really excited because this just came to the door. So as you guys know, Thomas and I were doing Factor. We've been doing it for maybe the last like three months or so. I honestly just had a good discount deal and I wanted to try more meal delivery services that were already fully cooked. Factor overall after trying like, I don't know, maybe 20 meals or so. I really like it, but like sometimes I either felt like the portion was too small or it just kind of felt not artificial, just like not as fresh as I wanted it to be. And so Rachel actually recommended to me Vegetable and Butcher. This is a local DC based fully cooked meal delivery service. Okay, hold on. Beast wants to go outside. <laughs> and it, this just arrived, so I'm gonna put it in my fridge, walk Beast, but I just wanted to show you. I'm so excited because they have options for both vegan, vegetarian, and like meat eaters. So Thomas and I chose the meat eaters. Since this is local based, it's more freshly cooked. Like you can literally see what date it says like to enjoy the meal on. So this is a Hunan style sweet chili noodle salad. That looks so good. I got a watercress salad. This isn't what I ordered. Oh, actually maybe what I put on the menu you was what I ordered for next time. Jamaican curry with coconut rice. Oh yes, I did. I did get that. And Haitian griot with pickly. Pork shoulder, that looks really good. I don't remember getting the watercress salad. Is that what I got? Okay, I'm gonna check, but I'm really excited to try Vegetable and Butcher because it is local based. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on it because we don't have like HelloFresh or Green Chef anymore. We just want something. We wanna try to find something that's already cooked. So it says the calories, the protein intake, like everything you need to know. It looks actually really good. Maybe I did choose the watercress salad. <laughs> I don't remember. And it comes in this too, which is really nice. Okay, you wanna go outside, mister? Hold on, let me just put this in the fridge. Okay. Oh, 
Hi guys, it's currently two o'clock. I finished my lunch, I made like an omelet and then I went back to work. I didn't really take too much of a lunch break, but I'll take one when I walk east. I need to fold that laundry. But I thought it would be a good time to show you guys other things I've been purchasing recently. I guess this is one of them. You've seen it in a bunch of vlogs before, but I guess I've never talked about it. A long time ago, I tried Comfort, which is like this TikTok viral brand. And I didn't really like my first order. I just didn't really talk about it because I sent it back and I didn't want to like speak too negatively on it. But I got a gift card. And so in exchange, I got these shorts. <laughs> I got these shorts, which say comfort. This is like the tranquil collection. And then this is the travel collection. They're different shades of gray, but I don't really care. They're still from the same brand. And this one is like their travel essentials. I don't know if you guys have seen the ads or anything, but you can fit like your AirPods there. There's a pocket inside of like the kangaroo pocket for your passport and stuff, which I just think is like really smart. And so I got this in a size medium and I also really like the size of the hood. I feel like it's a good size hood, you know? So I got this. I actually really like it. I would recommend that over all the other collections that Comfort has personally. And then this is my Oland bag. Do you guys like This is like my new favorite bag. I'm so, I'm trying so hard to not buy the bigger version of this bag, but I might. But anyways, I got this bag because I just, I thought it was so cool. When I visited San Diego and I met up with Mikey Rogers, he was wearing this soft Ona bag, the larger version of this. And he was wearing it in this beautiful color blue. And it just like really stuck in my head. Like I didn't really say anything when I saw him because it was like my first time seeing him or maybe I did say, or maybe I did say something I don't know but I saw an Instagram ad that they were doing a sale this brand called Olen and I DM'd Mikey I was like is this the bag that you have and he was like yeah it is and I was like oh I'm gonna get it so I got a small version and I got it in the color khaki I think it's so cool I really want the big version though but I'm trying not to spend money because I don't need it so I got this I technically didn't need this either <laughs> it was on sale so those are my recent purchases and then I did I get two pairs of sandals for my upcoming vacation, but I also haven't bought sandals in I feel like maybe three or four years. Back in 2021, I worked with the brand Vivaya and I've been looking for good, really comfortable sandals. These are honestly so amazing. All of their shoes are made out of this like knitted material and they're just so pretty. I love them and I love the little kitten heel, but it's like a wide kitten heel. So these are just really, really comfortable and above everything, they're extremely cushioned just in the way that they're designed. Brand overall is just so good. Like I loved working with that brand it really showed me like how high quality the products are so i got a pair of heeled sandals and then i just also got a pair of like flat sandals these are so comfortable too again it's made out of this like knitted material so they're really stretchy really comfy and this is also really good arch support too for anyone that has flat feet like me and yeah that's everything. The day is pretty chill. I don't know if anyone is like me. I'm sure honestly everyone is, but if it is the summer, I just don't want to work. I don't care how much I like my job. I just don't really want to work in the summer. Like I want to be outside. I think it's also because I'm on vacation mode and I'm leaving in two days for Puerto Rico. So I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> I think I'm going to actually end off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was editing this last night and we got a good like 20 something minute video. Very chill, just chatty days, chatting your freaking ear off in this video. But I really wanted to catch up with you guys like I said, I didn't vlog last week and I vlogged the week before. So I just wanted to catch you up on stuff. I don't think there's anything really all that crazy new except for the apartment updates and everything. Marathon training has started, which I haven't really talked about, but I talked about it before I started. So you guys already know. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know about the marathon training. So I'm trying not to, I guess, like repeat myself too much. And I think that's everything. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos twice a week in 2024. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, miss you already.